what I am going to be sharing with you is so incredible that you may wish that you knew about this, about you sooner, for you to be able to manifest to your heart's content. Before I go into that, guys, for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm Natalie. For those of you that are coming back, it's lovely to have you here as always. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do click that subscribe button and know that your support really does mean the absolute world to me. And I just want to say here as well, thank you for all of your beautiful comments that I keep receiving on my videos. It really is puts the biggest smile on my face. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. If you want to find out more about me or my other social media platforms, um, all of the coaching solutions that I offer, all you have to do is click the link below this video. I also offer a free Facebook group and I have my YouTube members only channel where you can get free content from me. So you can find out more about that and you also get early access to all of my videos too. Okay, so let's get back to this video. So what is it, this incredibly powerful thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you that you may wish that you knew about this about yourself sooner, and it is this. If you knew that all you had to do was focus on how you feel, focus on how you feel, you would be able to effortlessly manifest to your heart's content to the extent where actually the way that you feel is more important than consciously manifesting those desires. And this is why when we are in a place of feeling good for good sake, happy for happy sake, love for love's sake, joyful for joyful sake, not because somebody's made us laugh, not because somebody's done something to make us feel happy, not because an SP has come in and they, they've said that they love us. No, no. If you can understand that how you feel about you is all that you need to focus on, you will manifest to your heart's content without having to effort at it at all. It will just naturally flow to you. Everything for your highest good will naturally flow to you. We are all vibration. We attract and we create through our energy. So when we are in alignment with ourselves, with our soul, when we're in alignment, and that means when we're feeling good, when we're feeling positive, when we're feeling happy, when we accept our life for as it, how it is, as it is right now, when we wake up every day, just knowing that we feel good, with or without everything that we've been wanting to manifest, and you do that consciously, it will then become an unconscious habit that you will naturally wake up every day feeling better and better and better. You will be in alignment. You will therefore then be in the receptive mode the receiving mode, the allowing the universe to do its job mode, the surrendering mode, the trusting mode, the giving it all up mode. It's like you've just gone poof. Comes great, it doesn't great because I feel great. I feel great, I feel great, I feel great. And I have, I've actually been quite poorly again this week with um lots of sinus um stuff. And um, thankfully, one of my lovely friends um, told me to steam with eucalyptus and olbus, and I've been doing all of that. And so, and actually, I, I do feel better with it. Um, so that's why I'm currently recording this video. I was able to have a shower and do my hair and, and everything without being in too much pain moving my head around because the pressure was quite a lot. But um, even me feeling like that, I was still waking up every day, even when I was in pain, I was still waking up every day, feeling positive, moving my body as much as I could. You know, I um, have rested a lot. I've been taking care of myself, looking after myself, eating even healthier foods, you know, really, really hydrating myself and, you know, going to bed early, having great night's sleep, all this stuff, all this stuff, even though I was in pain, because it was very painful, it was very painful all around here and here, I was still able to remain in this state of, I feel good, everything's okay. You know, I might not have been a, as a higher kind of tigger 
you know, that like I normally am, but I wasn't far off it because that's my choice. That's my choice. It is my choice to focus on how I feel fundamentally and everything else on top of that is secondary. Everything is secondary to how I feel. If I want to do something, I do. If I don't, I don't. If people ask me to do things, great. If And if I want to do it, great. And if I don't, that's okay too. That's okay too. I have healthy boundaries. All I focus on is how I feel. How I feel. How I feel. When we're feeling great, just for being in our own skin, and I know I just had the voice saying, there's going to be some people out there going, I don't feel great. Well, that's a choice. It's a choice. Everything is a choice. You were born with a free will. The free will is the choice of how you choose to think. It's a decision that you make. And it's a decision that I make every day. And the more I do it, the more naturally it comes. The less I have to even make that decision because I naturally am that. I went through a massive ascension when I was in Ibiza. It was very difficult to go through that. I then came back. I had more things that I had to release. I dug deep. I was on my knees. It wasn't pleasant. But through all of this, releasing these limiting beliefs, releasing these um, beliefs of how I needed to action th certain things, how things needed to be, I got myself into the receptive mode, this mode of trust, this mode of, just naturally feeling good. Like I said, even when I've been in pain, naturally feeling good. Everything is a choice. Everything is a choice. So this is what you may wish you knew about yourself sooner, is that all you have to do is focus on how you feel. Then you're in the receptive mode. You're in the letting go. You're no longer focusing on what it is you want because what you focus on is you. You can still focus on the, the manifestation desire that you would like to manifest a little bit here and there, obviously, it might pop into your head. It'd be really nice to have that. It'd be really nice to have that. But there's no attachment to it because you're in the receptive mode because you trust. Even with uncertainty, you embrace it. You embrace uncertainty knowing that you are being divinely guided and divinely protected. And the question here is why would the universe want you to not experience what it is that you've always wanted? Why? Why would the universe not want to bring you what it is for your highest good? And when you're in the receptive mode, it will effortlessly bring things to you, effortlessly. You know, um, this, this feeling that I have, it's like a freedom. It's freedom. It's a freedom. It's a feeling of I'm enough and abundant, ab abundant. Freedom and abundance, where I can wake up every day and I can please myself with what I want to do, how I want to think about me, how I want to think about me, how I want to feel. I get to choose every day what it is that I want. The freedom is the magic. The freedom comes from being in the receptive mode because you're free from this controlling you no longer having to force things, no longer having to action on things. You know, like I said, I always had this belief that I had to act a particular way with a particular area of my life. And I look back at that and go, I can't believe I used to think that because that's the control of the program. It's the control of the program. An old belief that didn't align to me that I had to let go and thank God I did act that way so that I could let it go through awareness I could understand what it was that I was doing that wasn't serving me I could then let it go and it's elevated me to this place of trust complete and utter trust I have no idea except for the fact that I've got a lot of things that I would like to experience in my reality in my outer world I have no idea from one day to the next what's happening I let go of the control. I let go of all of that and I focus on how I feel. And when I think about the things that I'd like to manifest, I do it lightly. I think about it lightly. I affirm lightly. So this is what you may wish you knew about yourself sooner. As long as you focus on how you feel, stop pleasing other people when it doesn't make you feel good. 
and you focus on how you feel, it's all that matters. And if you're having conversations with yourself that don't make you feel good, you know, it's really easy for me to hear 3D conversations. What's a 3D conversation? You'd be talking about your ailments constantly, constantly. You know, I just mentioned about the fact that I had some sinus stuff. It wasn't very pleasant. But at the same time, even though I had that, I was still focused on feeling good, feeling good. And now I'm able to do this video looking a hell of a lot better than I did a few days ago. So I don't talk about things too much. I don't have these 3D conversations because what you put your energy on, what you fundamentally focus on, you will keep attracting. So if you're focused on particular ailments, you're going to be attracting those ailments even by accepting accepting your body accepting the way your life is even if it's not exactly how you want it to be accept it accept where your life is because the more you can do that the more you're going to be feeling better about yourself and the more you feel better about yourself the more you can feel grateful for being alive and for the life that you've got and the more you can be grateful, the more you're in the appreciation mode. And then when you're doing this and then you're recognizing um, your worth and your value through affirming and seeing that and talking to yourself in a loving, kind way and demonstrating self-care for yourself. And you will, won't will let people outside of you dictate to you any longer. You won't allow these people to... Um, to make you feel guilty for doing things that you don't want to do. You will start to put yourself first. You'll start to prioritize yourself and what's right for you and your needs. All of this and so much more. When you let go of these limiting beliefs and these traumas and these old, these old stories that you tell yourself, the way you action on things that doesn't serve you, and you can just come back to yourself and how you feel, and the more you come back to yourself and how you feel, which is a choice, how you feel, you will not care about the manifestation. You'll lightly think about it. You might lightly affirm about it, but that is not your priority. Your priority is you. So this is something that you may wish you knew about yourself sooner. And it is all about how you feel. You get into that feeling state by consistency 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 i'm going to say it one more time consistency i didn't get into this state this alignment without doing consistent work on myself it's because i am consistent in how i show up consistent in doing the work consistent and if you want to find out more about my self-love workshops um, or my six-week breakthrough program or my five-week ultimate transformation program. If you're somebody that holds on to beliefs about yourself and you keep telling yourself these 3D stories of how life is, you know, the opposite of what you want. I'm not going to say too many negative things in here, but you know if you're doing it because it makes you feel like shit. So anytime you have a thought, anytime you have a conversation that doesn't make you feel good, whilst it's a familiar conversation, because you have it over and over and over and over again with lots of different people, it doesn't make you feel good and it makes you feel drained. That's the program. That's what you need to work on releasing. And the more you can work on releasing that, the more you can work on telling the stories that you do want to tell. The more you can focus on you, the more you focus on you in a positive way, the more you start to show up feeling better about yourself, the more you start to wake up every day owning it, going, how am I going to get through today how am I going to get through today what am I going to do today what amazing things are going to happen today I wonder what can I be grateful for today what can I tell myself that I am today what can I accept in my life today what can I do for myself today to get me into the feeling state so there's so many different ways that you can do that like I said, I've got my coaching, you know, playing lovely music that, that by, you know, that lifts your vibration, going out in nature, doing fun things for you. All of this, all of this adds up. What happens when you're in this state of feeling enlightened is, um, or in the rece receptive mode, the receiving mode, it, do, it does feel quite magical, actually, because you actually, you don't care about not knowing how things are going to unfold. You don't care about kind of really what's going to happen tomorrow because you're so focused on how you feel today, that tomorrow's tomorrow, today's today. 
you are more in the now you embrace uncertainty embrace uncertainty with trust surrendering letting it go all of that gets you into the receptive mode it's like if I get that great if I don't it's because something better is going to come along again I tell myself that story why would the universe not want me to win why would the universe not want me to be that type of person why would the universe not want me to have that you know and I'm gonna leave this video on a another little note whilst you can manifest anything that you want it doesn't mean that everything that you manifest is right for you hold that thought comment below I really super enjoyed sharing this with you guys please feel free to like share comment and subscribe and I will be back very very soon